Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, my fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We talk about niche houses, designer houses, original uh, creations and flankers of original perfumes. Uh, we go over lotions, oils, um, anything that involves scent, whether it be high-end niche, designer or dupes and clones as well we go over that on this channel so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified two new videos you never know which house we're gonna we're gonna hit next we have been focusing on one house at a time per week it's been taking me a good week to really get a feel for a certain house um i i haven't been repeating scents like one day i'll wear the same scent twice in a row uh you know i did that recently with 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 something and oh i remember now i just had to wear this baby two days in a row during christmas over christmas holiday I wore it, I, I, we unboxed it on the channel, so go ahead and check out that, that um, review and unboxing. And then I wore it that day, Christmas Eve, and then I wore it on Christmas Day because I wanted to experience it again. In fact, you know, I, I am headed somewhere right now, so I might just shower, change, and throw this on. That is how much I liked it. So if you want to check out the review and the wear test, then go ahead and check out the Alien Fusion unboxing and the very next day, the wear test and review. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. <laughs> Just want to put that out there. Um, I think, oh, another one that I wore twice in a row was that one right there above it, which is the Dolce & Cabana, the only one. That one was also really delicious, and they say that it has remnants of, um, or it resembles Rouge Malaki with by the Armani Privé line. Okay, so let's get back on. Let's not further disrupt the ending or the conclusion to Victor and Rolf week. We have been focusing on Victor and Rolf, and we have been wear testing the Flower Bomb and the Bon Bon and Flower Bomb Midnight as well. We have them all here. All the girls are here. They came out, all the flowers came out to play, and the uh, Flower Bomb Nectar. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the wear testing for today, which was the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. All right, so we do break down notes. We do go over how it wore on my skin, on my clothes, what it gave me, what it made me feel, would I wear it again, is it worth you spending your money on, uh, because this is one of the, uh, the latest release in the Flower Bomb line. So let's do it. Let's get into it. Um, and then I'll and then I'll, I'll tell you what my plans are for it, actually. Is this 30 mLs or 50 mLs? Oh, I got the baby. I got the 30 mLs. Tiny little thing. No wonder it's so cute. It's like a little hand side grenade. Flower bomb. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. It has been a long week, but we are at the end of it. We made it through. I just feel like I have so much stress and tension back here, but I got some nachos on the brain and it is about to handle all of that. Flower bomb orchid. What does flower bomb orchid open up with? Well, that would be, it is a, flu well, first of all, it's a floral fruity gourmand. It, it was released in 2021. This is actually one of the newest releases that I have gotten a chance to review. That's really exciting. Um, it, it, it opens up with peach and vine, whatever the vine might smell like. I'm not sure. Did not smell a uh, vine. I might have gotten some peach. Mid note. It's got one mid note, and that is orchid. So they really wanted. That's why they named it flower bomb orchid. They really wanted to that to come forward there in the mid note, and then base note of vanilla bean. So we don't have a lot of notes to play with here. Yesterday's wear of flower bomb midnight, which was released in 2019. Now this one also had minimal notes. It did not have a whole lot of notes. We had we had black currant and pomegranate in the top notes night blooming jasmine and peony in the middle 
and then a base note of white musk and vanilla. So I thought that th those notes were pretty s simple. And these are even more simple. And honestly, it showed. It showed as for, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I have plenty of fragrances that are not crazy on the note compounds and they are beautiful fragrances. One of those being uh, La Belle Le Parfume does not have too many notes compared to the original but it is a beautiful fragrance and i actually really enjoy the la belle le parfum which is right here this one right here <laughs> so orchid it opens up let's do this it opens up i have it okay i sprayed it this morning at around seven uh this morning i was running late so i did not and then you know had a few complications getting off the ground this morning um so while i was out there trying to get ready and kids and all that I forgot I failed to apply my CeraVe this morning so I have a feeling that it would have that it would have hung around longer we are just in a very faint dry down here like I am not able to smell it on my skin um however la after last night's shower i did douse myself in my amazing um baccarat rouge 540 by fnk syntology i did all that all right you know right out of the shower so i don't be i didn't feel like i was lacking moisture all day because of of that wonderful lotion that that i've been using religiously <laughs> um and that you know I think that that would be, I would probably go with the Baccarat Rouge 540 um, layer prior to applying this because, um, yeah, so opening. We're supposed to have peach and vine in the opening. And I don't know. I don't know what we got. <laughs> I don't know what we got going on here. I, I can't remember if I press play or not. So I might have to do this all over again. <laughs> because I can't remember. I hope I'm talking to you guys and not my not rehearsing by myself here. But anyway, so let's pretend, let's pretend. I'm just going to continue on as if I don't have to re-talk about all of my thoughts over again. <laughs> okay? Hopefully not. So, opening. Peach and Vine. Honestly, not very fresh of an opening. I was expecting a fresh opening. It really didn't give me a fresh opening. Uh, surprisingly, this one opens up with a gunmetal, and this one gave me, the Flower Bomb Nectar gave me a brighter opening. Oh my goodness, you guys. Beautiful fragrance, this Flower Bomb Nectar. I'm so happy with that. So, Flower Bomb Orchid. I'm here kind of stuck with a meh, you know, it's good. It smells delicious. It's reminding me of something else that, you know, we've already, maybe even a combo of these two. Because this one's really, really sweet and heavy. And then this one, we all know how Flower Bomb goes. Um, we're missing patchouli in the Ruby Orchid as well. And so, yeah, it just ends up kind of smelling like, like something I've smelled before. And it's, it did not wow me. Um... I smelled it pretty heavily on myself. I over sprayed to tell you the truth. It was all the way to the top and look where we're at. I sprayed this sucker like nobody's business. Like I really meant it. Like I sprayed it everywhere. Um, I'm not, you know, a lot of the reviews are saying it has performance issues, which is why I over sprayed. Um, but it, it doesn't, it still didn't project much. I did get to enjoy the fragrance and smell it and, you know, but I was like, it smells like, like something I've smelled before. It did hang on to my jacket pretty good too. Yeah. Cause I sprayed it on my jacket and it did hold on to the jacket as well. Let me see my, Yeah. Yeah, we're here. We're still here. So it holds on to clothes really, really well. So if you want to just sport this, it I would say that it's an easy wear. If you want like a no-brainer reach, something to grab, you know, you want to smell fruity, you want to smell clean, good, uh, it would be a nice, easy, easy reach and easy wear. So to me, that's not worth my money, at, really, honestly. Um... I am definitely, it's not something that I would repurchase that I need in my collection to repurchase. Definitely, you know, 
no, not something that I would be reaching for. To, um, to collect and make sure that I never run out of. What I would do with this instead is use it for layering purposes because that's what I'm getting. Like if I want to sweeten anything up, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to add it to, uh, you know, other, other fragrances. In fact, today, since I'm already wearing it, what should I do? Ah, I really didn't want to take a shower. Maybe I just won't shower <laughs> and I'll layer it with this instead, which this is La Via Spell and it has a lot of comparisons to the Flower Bomb um, Original and the Flower Bomb Nectar. And it smells to me though, this one smells more womanly. Um, and I said that during during the review earlier. So if I had to rank my flower bombs, I would uh, I would go number one, number one right here. So flower bomb nectar. Now this one was something that I would wear. This is two day in a row worthy to me. By oh yes. In fact, why why am I gonna mess around with layering? I just kind of want to wear this. Oh, after the shower. I don't know. We'll see what we do, but I do want to keep it with Victor Roth. I'm still surprisingly, you know, I wore it for five days in a row and they're all similar scent profiles, you know, fruity, fresh or, or floral, gourmandish or, you know, fruity, floral. <laughs> like they're all in the same family, but, um, it's a scent profile that I really do enjoy. Okay. So that would be number one. This would be number two, even though, I mean, neck and neck, this has sentimental reasons for me. I will always have it in my collection, and it is a beautiful fragrance in my opinion. In fact, I would probably layer this, possibly, with the Ruby Orchid. I don't know. I would have to test that out on a test strip because that might be too sweet to, to uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. But the Flower Bomb Midnight. Even though I had longevity issues with the Flower Bomb Midnight, I have found the most beautiful um, TB Scents Flower Bomb Midnight that really saved this fragrance for me, the wear. And so um, I found this on Mercari, TB Scents, really, really good. Go check out her stuff on Mercari. Very good prices. I got three different oils for um, 20 <gasps> $20, $20, I believe it was. I just, something just hit me. Speaking of, I remember when I was talking about Flower Bomb Nectar and that I didn't know what I was going to do with it because this was Beast Bomb mode all on its own. I was like, what am I going to do with an oil that I don't need to layer it with? Hello, I could layer it with this. I think this could save this fragrance for me. The wear, you know, the longevity, the changing up the tone a little bit because yeah it was a beautiful you know it wasn't a beautiful don't get me wrong uh, i mean why am i saying that because if i don't believe that it was not a beautiful can't live without fragrance it was a i like it i like the smell i like it it's 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 kind of in the same realm same profile but it wasn't it didn't it's not anything different it's not super different to the other flower bombs that I was trying out to where you know that would warrant me totally needing it um and then I'm not even going to rank this one uh amongst you know the likes because it really was another one that was really really I like the scent of it um but it was it was really weird it was like heavy stuck to me but didn't project and I didn't have didn't enjoy a scent bubble at least the ruby orchid gave me a little tiny bit of a scent bubble um you know not too much but but the reviews are correct as far as this not having as far as it having performance issues yes um if you don't layer with your lotion or you layer with an oil then you're not going to get much projection from it and that was it so top i would say top 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 you're gonna go for flower bomb go for the original go for the flower bomb nectar beautiful fragrance go back and watch this review so you can see the note breakdown and how it wore and how exciting um it made me feel this fragrance right here definitely definitely something wow like just wow <laughs> um so number one number two or number 1.5 i would say 
Um, and then uh, third would be the Midnight. I did like that this one was different enough. It was different than the Nectar and it's different than the original Flower Bomb. Yes, I did like this. It's a jammy, jammy fragrance. Um, so that that's my take on, on Flower Bomb Week. Um, top Nectar, you know, 1.5, the Flower Bomb, and, uh, and then the Midnight. Uh, definitely not ranking uh, for me, unfortunately, are these are these two so I mean but try them for yourself and everybody's different the, the, this is my opinion this is my take on it um, you know I will definitely be having probably my first declutter video soon and then uh, we'll also have a uh, brand new to my collection video because I've had you know my first what are they I want to say four four or five purchases of 2022 definitely starting off the year with the aquavite by mason francis kirkshawn yes this one i want to mess around with this for summer uh spring so we'll go over uh the first purchases of 2022 did i say 2021 <laughs> We ended off the year with MFK. We're starting off the year with MFK and then um, a couple of other lovely things. So uh, that was it for Flower Bomb Week. I totally found and lost again. I was going to show you. <laughs> so for this coming week, wow, they're completely gone again. Why do I keep losing these things, you guys? I found my Juliana's perfume, perfumes. Sorry, not Juliana's perfumes. I found my Juliana's perfume little box. And I was like, how many did I get after? Oh, I found them. <laughs> I found them. We are going to do a week of Julia. I always like to let y'all know what's coming up so that you don't miss it. So we are going to do a Juliana's Perfumes. Look at that. We have eight samples to go over. So we're going to have to start tomorrow because, you know, tomorrow's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, there's only seven days in the week. Why am I, why am I finger counting that? Um, yeah, if you guys have been interested in knowing how uh, Juliana's perfumes smell compared to the originals or just smell in general, uh, what's the longevity, do they have, you know, I've heard so many things. I've heard they last forever. I've heard they have like an after smell or the opening smells, you know, weird or, you know, I've heard so many things that I wanted to know for myself and I got some of their really really good ones um i have bad b here which is rouge malachite dupe and we're talking these fragrances that they dupe are crazy priced fragrances fragrance uh fragrance de bois um you know the the guerlain uh Co Co queen or something like that delina i mean they got some good high quality dupes here um, you know, in the mood, which is Oud Satin Mood by MFK. Not to be confused with Oud Silk Mood. <laughs> that didn't go very well for me. Let me not lose these. We will be focusing on Juliana's Perfumes. If you haven't heard of the company, it is, and I got the little samples on Mercari. Um, it is a, a dupe company. So they make Inspired by Fragrances. And, um, you know, they run about $59 to $69 per bottle. And the bottles are really nice. If, if you want to look it up and, and do a little homework, see which one you're most interested in. And leave a comment um, uh, when we roll out the video for, you know, the sample. So I'll do my first impression, Juliana's Perfumes, uh, tomorrow. And then we'll take it from there. We'll see what will be the scent of the day for that day and the following day and the next. And we're going to go through it. We're going to break it down, okay? Because that's what we do around here. I'm going to leave them there because I keep losing them. <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, I hope you had a great week. I hope you enjoyed Flower Bomb Week. It was great. It was great for me. Um, all kind of similar but different and you saw the rankings you saw the rankings uh flower bomb nectar 
is a winner. We'll see what I wear tonight. <laughs> Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.